So let's let's talk about the legal aspects of it. Obviously, the law was constructed around scientific information, which concluded exactly what you said that these uh, that, um, salt mines, if you will, are not are not adequate for uh, for high level waste. And so the law uh, um, uh, specifically states, right, that there is not to be any of that kind of waste. So if this is all a kind of a political feint for the state of Washington, I don't know if that's completely totally what it is, but I, I presume it's most of it. Why would they? Why would they do this? Is it, is it a kind of madness? Is it a sort of a, a political game? So the law not only was based on the technical issues, but it was also based on promises to the state of New Mexico. The the reason that the the governors, the congressional delegation of New Mexico in the late 80s and early 90s, leading up to the 1992 law, were willing to support this is because of that prohibition on high-level waste. And lots of people in the state of New Mexico who are around in the 70s and 80s with the whole discussion heard many Department of Energy officials on numerous occasions say, no high-level waste. Me too. Come, I heard it come, myself. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so there are promises to, to do this. So the law is based both on science, but it's also based on promises made. So... One of the things that's happened, though, in the last few years that some people think might have changed some of these dynamics, and maybe people forget the promises or maybe we can change the promises, there have always been some people in southeastern New Mexico who were okay with bringing any kind of waste to WIP. And the hope is, and, and since the President Obama killed the Yucca Mountain project in Nevada, which was where high-level waste spent fuel was supposed to go. We now have, again, only one place, one hole in the ground with waste in it, which is WIP. So, you know, <laughs> maybe we can, if we have to have a quick-fix problem, there is no quick-fix solution if you're going to put waste in the ground except at WIP. Number one. Number two, there's this idea of, well, the reason Yucca Mountain failed, Yucca Mountain had a lot of technical flaws to it, but, but what uh, totally killed it was the strong opposition reiterated over and over and over again by the citizens of Nevada, the Nevada congressional delegation. So now the thought is, well, if we find a willing volunteer... Oh, that'll volunteer, yeah. maybe it's okay. And there are people in southeastern New Mexico that are saying, we will volunteer. Right. And there are people in the Department of Energy and other places that say, oh, well, if we have a volunteer, why then, you know, why not send the waste there? So on the one hand, it's a political thing to satisfy, in theory, we don't think it will, but in in theory, to satisfy people in Washington that DOE is solving this leaking high-level waste problem. But it also is the hope that maybe the situation in New Mexico is now different, and people would say, oh, the promises, that's fine, you can change the law, etc., which is why we think it's important in these next few weeks and months as there is more of discussion about what's going to happen with the state permit, prohibits this kind of waste without public hearings and with what may be happening in Congress, yeah. that people in New Mexico need to say, well, wait a minute, a promise is a promise. The law is the law. We don't want the law changed. We don't want the promises broken. WIP should fulfill its mission, and let's not bring in other stuff that we don't want, never agreed to, and shouldn't have.